Hey there! Uh, I decided to make a video on my top five favorite mascaras. So I was actually, I got the idea to do this because in an empties video that I put up a few days ago, I actually mentioned a certain mascara and I said that it was in my top five mascaras of all time. And then after the video, I thought to myself, well, what are my top five mascaras of all time? And here they are. Okay, starting off um, in particular order, number five for me is definitely the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I've just got a little mini one of this right now. It's the one in the pink tube, very, very popular. I will be honest with you, I think that the L'Oreal Lash Paradise is interchangeable with this. I don't think I would ever see a difference between the two. I like both of them. If they were the same price, I for some reason feel like I would go with the Too Faced one over the L'Oreal, but ultimately they're the same mascara pretty much. The only drawback to this one is that the brush is just a little bushy for me. I do like it, but it's just a little bit too thick for the inner corner of my eye, but I love it. It's my number five. My number four favorite mascara is from L'Oreal. This is the one that I mentioned in my empties video. So this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar. This has two sides to it. One side is a primer and the other side is your mascara with a curved wand. And I really like this. It gives you great definition. It gives you great length. I think length is definitely um, something that I seek for in a mascara. I do a very short, few and far between blonde lashes. So I look for things, I look for mascaras that give me everything. I want the length, I want the volume, I want to look like I have more lashes than I really have. I want it to wear really well. I expect a lot out of a mascara and the mascara that I'm mentioning in this video definitely uh, meet my expectations and beyond. So yeah, this is a really great mascara. If you're not really into the primer first and the mascara sec or second, you might not like this, but if you're open to it, check this one out. My number three favorite mascara is from Lancome. It is the Monsieur Big and it looks like this. It's, I feel like this is getting, it's kind of like a moment in the sun right now. I've been seeing a lot of ads for it lately. It's got like a bushy wand, looks like that. Um, it's a really good mascara, gives you that volume, just gives you those big, beautiful, fluffy lashes. I do really like this. This has been in my top uh, mascara kind of, you know, repertoire for not that long. This is probably the newest addition to that, um, but I have really liked it. I've gone through a couple tubes. This was on Ulta Beauty Steel Days recently, and I picked up two more tubes of it. So I've got this for a while, definitely. My number two favorite mascara of all time, I actually don't have a tube of it with me right now, but it is just the basic L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. It comes in different varieties. You can get regular, you can get waterproof, you can get in carbon black, which is my favorite if you can find it. You can get a straight brush or you can get a brush that's slightly curved. My favorite is the curved brush. So that one is in the gray tube with the gold cap or the gold handle. That is just I've probably purchased that mascara more times than any other mascara ever. I absolutely love it. I adore it. It's such a good one. It lasts. It gives you volume. It gives you length. It gives you the whole package in a mascara and it's drugstore prices. So it's wonderful. I really, really do like that. The only mascara that can top that for me, which is in my number one slot, is the Hypnose Drama from Lancome. I absolutely love this mascara. If you've never tried it, if you've never tried Lancome mascaras, like you need to really do that. It's got the weirdest wand. It has this like curves out and then back in, but it just works so well for the shape of your eye. It is such a wonderful mascara. I have bought this so many times as well. I think the between the L'Oreal Voluminous and this one are the most repurchases of mascaras I've ever I've ever had. I I can't like I said, I can't get over it. it's so 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 good. If these if this and the L'Oreal were the same price, I might still pick out this one because of that unique shaped brush and wand. Um, but they're very, very similar to each other, and I think that they're both really great. But this one is takes my top, takes the top of the list for me. So these are my top five mascaras. I wish I had that other one to show you. Um, I feel like I might have mentioned it in my empties video. I usually go through a mascara every like month, month and a half or so. Um, I like a mascara that you can use in your bottom lash as well. I don't do full exaggerated bottom lashes. I like to just give it like a little touch. The only one that I really find trouble with for that was probably the Lash Paradise is like a little thick in terms of the size of the brush to get that bottom lash with being, with still being able to keep it kind of like natural looking. Um, but the rest of them are all flawless. I love them all. And yeah, 
I hope you check them out sometime and you like them as much as I do. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. Um, have a great day and stay safe. Bye.